So it's soccer morning. I'm making some tea and watching some footy. You don't know. I don't think I can show this. Oh, there goes my G, um, Tyler Adams. My my college soccer coach, Coach Tyler Adams, when he was younger, because he's from our area in New York. But now just watching some Manchester United before we go and play soccer. Yeah, making some tea. You don't know. We drinking tea, bruv, because we from UK, innit? But now let's see what Leeds has to offer. What, yo, Leeds is like a an American squad, bro. I think Leeds has like four or five American players. And to for, to have four or five American players in the Premier League is crazy. That's actually crazy. But now let's see what's happening right here. And not much really going on. I'm about to drink some tea. Let's see. Is Rashford even playing? I don't see him. I don't see Rashford. Let's see Sanchez. I mean Sancho. Our new signing. For a morning like today when I'm playing soccer, like early in the morning, this is the type of breakfast I like to have. Nothing too heavy, something to give me a, a good, some good energy, you know, some vitamin C, some proteins, slash a little bit of carbs and fat, whatever, and some tea. You don't know. But this is basically what I have. For match day, it's different, isn't it? Because you got to eat something heavier. Um, I eat like, I would say like, it depends though. I could eat pasta, I could eat rice and like chicken, but it gotta be lean meat. And it gotta be like three to four hours before the game, just to give yourself enough time for your food to digest. So when you run, you don't have like cramps or anything. But that's basically it. If you wanna be an athlete, you gotta know how to eat before the games. Yo, do you know what's worse than a girl breaking your heart? What's worse is the lads telling you that soccer is canceled or foot is canceled. So my cousins told me that foot is canceled till next week, fam. The whole morning I've been preparing, bro, to play soccer, to play footy. And man's been telling me right now that foot is canceled after I've been preparing all this time, bro. Nah, bro. So you know what I'm doing? I'm walking to a field right now and I'm about to just kick around footy by myself. The ball's a little bit flat. That's what you get when you didn't bring your own ball because I couldn't fit in my suitcase. I knew my brother and cousins would have a ball, but it was, I don't know where the pump is and everybody's sleeping. So, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do in it. See you in the next one. So we in the streets of Canada right now. You don't know, I don't know where I'm walking to, but I'll find a field somewhere. I'll find it, don't worry about me. I don't get lost, bro. I've been traveling everywhere and I don't get lost. I don't need no directions or, or any help. I'll catch you at the field. So we haven't made it yet, but I know where I'm going. I think I know where I'm going based on what the um the Google the Google map said online. I know where I'm going. Okay. So it's like I forgot I was in Canada, bro. I did not remember that yo, the fields might have snow on it. <laughs> I'm walking, right? I don't know what field, where the field, I'm going to find a field, but I guarantee you the field has snow on it. So what I'll do is if, if the field has snow, I'll find a little grassy area where I can do like keepy ups or a little dribbling or something. But I did, I did ass forgot that I'm in Canada, bro. Like, it's just going to have snow on it. Crazy. On a real though, look at these buildings. It has like a full gold lament on the front and then these high rise ones. But yeah, I feel like the field that I'm going to definitely gonna have snow on it, but I just wanna see where it is. On a real though, this is a nice area. It's like a whole park. I didn't even realize there's like bridges that go over lakes and stuff, but it's all snowy, but there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna try to find my field though. 
If I can't, I'll find like a concrete area where I can play. And of course, there's a train coming somewhere or I don't know what, a city bus or whatever they call it. Oh yeah, a city bus is coming, but. Yeah, I just made it, look. This was about to hit me in my head. <laughs> but this is the field, right? So I knew it was gonna be snowy and stuff, right? But I do have area where I can play. I'm gonna test it to see if if it's all wet and ice. But I'll figure it out. There's a lot of people jogging and stuff. I'll figure it out. Yeah, so some most of it is all murky. But there's some dry areas where I can do like keepy ups and stuff. So I'll definitely be doing that. You don't know. The grind don't stop in it. I've played on snowy fields before in New York. I played on bumpy fields. They were worse than this, to be honest. But basically, yeah, I'm about to set up right here. I know a lot of people gonna watch me like, oh, what are you playing soccer on that? But yeah, let's get it. So this is the thing that I was saying that they call it. I don't know what they call. It. I think they call it a city car or a city bus or something. But that's a train to me. Whatever. I don't care what you say, Canadians. That's a train to me. But yeah, that's what I was walking.
Thank you. Second breakfast after the footy session. You know, we go hash browns, some eggs, and cinnamon french toast. Is that it? You don't know. We're doing it different out here. <laughs> 